Jim Shore has done an exquisite job creating a Hartwood Creek masterpiece cuckoo clock. The clock features a rooster inside who crows on every hour. Located next to the manual control is a volume control so you can make the roosters crow louder or softer for your individual liking. The charming masterpiece runs on batteries and will come with a separate pendulum that you will need to attach to the bottom of the cuckoo clock. Jim Shore, in his usual style, has created a masterpiece three-in-one game set as part of the Hartwood Creek Collection. An unbelievable amount of detail has been addressed on the game board as well as on every game piece. Now, not only can you play a good, challenging game of chess, but you can also test out your strategy in a game of checkers. When you slide the board top up, you will find four compartments that will be lined with foam to hold all of the three-in-one game pieces. Flip the board top over, and the masterpiece reveals a detailed backgammon board. The game set comes with a complete set of checker pieces for the backgammon and checker games, two dice cups, four dice, and one doubling cube. Jim Shore has created a stunningly detailed Chinese checkered board game. When you're not playing the game, keyholes have been added to the back of the board so you can continue to admire the workmanship of the piece as it's displayed as wall art. The board game comes with a velour pouch filled with a full set of marbles. Jim Shore has designed a wonderfully detailed game box. Even the underside of the lid has a beautiful, intricate pattern. The Hartwood Creek game box includes two decks of cards, one game pencil, and five dice. This is a project that I, uh, I've been working on for some time now. Uh, as as uh, everyone who's uh, familiar with my line knows, the, um, the, the genesis of the line is, is uh, found in, in folk art. Folk art is typically a little more primitive than uh, some other forms of uh, more modern style art and uh, this is a good example of it. What was the reasoning for you titling this grouping and collection Everyday Angels? Well that's sort of what, the, uh, what it represents to me in that it, the subject matter of the angels are specific and they're things that that we come across every day in our everyday lives that we like to celebrate. Uh, in, this, in this case, it's like birthday, for example, or the arrival of a new, a new uh, you know, infant, which happened recently in my family. My uh, daughter gave birth to a, a, uh, a, little, a little girl on uh, December the 23rd, two days before Christmas. So that really added to our holiday. And then you have this, uh, this sort of symbol of peace and the symbol of love and the symbol of you know spring and and uh, uh, this is to celebrate uh, weddings and and uh, the symbol of uh, the universal symbol of welcome so that's that's uh, that's the reason for the uh, for the name because I want people to look at this this stuff and you know if it, if they so choose select these things as kind of a little symbol of uh, you know what goes on in their everyday life and the things that makes them happy. Thank you. Um, for anyone who's familiar with my work, uh, they 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 know that the subject of, nat of the nativity has been one that's been sort of a, uh, one of the linchpins of my uh, of my design collection ever since I got started with this particular uh, you know styling that I do. Now this you'll notice is a little bit more uh, of a, in a folk art. Uh, style and it uh, it's similar to some of the earlier pieces that we looked at the uh, the everyday angels and so forth. The coloration of this is extremely bold, probably more bold than any other you know uh, nativity grouping I've done yet. Rather than the the light mild uh, uh, colorations that I that I so often use, this has uh, the combinations of a of a body that is sort of reminiscent of a turning or a uh, you know, a, a, ballast, a baluster, 
which is decorated with layering of every element that I typically put in my in my folk art. You have this applique, you have the sort of tone on tone rose modeling, and then you have these various uh, quilt patterns. Now the quilt patterns, once again, are symbolic of something that's happening within this collection, but it's colorful enough so that it makes a real statement without taking up an enormous amount of room. Of course, that's important to a lot of people. Now this is a, a, a miniature version of what the original nativity uh, looked like, and as you can see, the, uh, the pieces have this sort of ongoing um, pic uh, pictures in front here that form this kind of a triptych or a continuing diorama, and each one of them tell a part of the story. And so that was the original uh, nativity. This is what's commonly referred to as my blue nativity. And once again, it, uh, it tells the whole story with all the various pieces. So that's, that's what led up to, the, uh, to the, the, the new nativity, which we've just uh, discussed.